Ford has put the brakes on building its new $3.5 billion Blue Oval battery plant in Marshall. It's a facility that is meant to be part of the future of Ford's electric vehicles, bringing about 2,500 jobs to the area. Facts up, Fox 17's Matt Whitkos looks at the situation. The big three manufacturer says this isn't a final decision. A spokesperson for Ford says they're limiting spending until they can competitively operate this plant. A local group who has been pushing against this plant says they're happy by this pause. It was unexpected. Uh, we'll take it as a small victory. We're not. Sh we're sure it's not the end of the. The battle. Ford announcing Monday it's pausing construction on its $3.5 billion EV electric plant site in Marshall. There's too much at stake here, so we're, we're continuing to stay ready. And The automaker sending us this statement. We're pausing work and limiting spending on construction on the Marshall project until we're confident about our ability to competitively operate the plant. We haven't made any final decision about the planned investment there, but didn't elaborate on the explanation. I'm sure we didn't scare them off <laughs> just yet, but uh, it might be a concern of theirs that you know, maybe the people don't really want this in this area. Regis Kingler is part of the group committee for Marshall, not the mega site, which has been fighting to stop this development. How it was put in place very quickly, very secretively, and without a vote of the people if they wanted to see it or not, or do it or not. The UAW is currently on strike against Ford, along with General Motors and Stellantis. The union strike is now in its 11th day, first targeting one vehicle assembly plant from each automaker. Last week, their efforts expanded to parts warehouses. Ford was spared from that expansion because the union says there's progress in negotiations. The company has commented that this site was meant to bring in 2,500 jobs. We are against, we're not against progress. It's going to have a huge impact. And if it does go through, there could be a lot of additional development that, you know, we really don't care for, you know, you know, strip malls and fast food. And we've got enough of that, we think, now. The factory was set to start making batteries in 2026, churning out enough cells to supply 400,000 vehicles a year. The state had allocated nearly $1.7 billion in incentives for this project. Following Monday's announcement, Republican Representative Sarah Leitner, whose district covers parts of Calhoun County, issued a statement saying in part, quote, Governor Whitmer was insistent on paying a premium to land the Ford project. Project. Now that it's falling through, I hope she's adamant about making sure any tax dollars already paid out are returned to the state. Meanwhile, the governor's office also responded to the news, sending Fox 17 a statement reading, Michigan is home to world-class automakers whose iconic vehicles are built by the best auto workers in the world, and the governor is committed to keeping it that way. That's why we've been aggressively pursuing deals that support working men and women, while also bringing supply chains back home from overseas for the first time and securing record-breaking investment that will guarantee jobs for decades. Again, Ford says this isn't a final decision. We did reach out to the city manager of Marshall and have not heard back. Again, this is a developing story and will provide updates as they become available. Reporting in Calhoun County, I'm Matt Whitkos, Fox 17 News.